Good evening. Well, today, a major speech by David Lammy, the Shadow Foreign Secretary. He delivered it at lunchtime at Chatham House. Here's a flavour of what he had to say. Reconnecting Britain to Europe while remaining outside of the European Union will be our top priority for the next Labour Foreign Office. Keir Starmer has been clear. With Labour, Britain will re not rejoin the European Union, the single market, or the customs union. So that's David Lammy. The big message is we will not be rejoining the single market. We will not be rejoining the European Union. Well, of course, he had to say that. The Red Wall, after all, would not want to hear any different. But just for a moment, folks, if you don't know who David Lammy is, he is an absolutely fanatical EU rejoiner. And he even believe it or not, compared the ERG, the European Research Group, that backbench group of Eurosceptics in the Conservative Party, he even compared them to Nazis. And when he was challenged on it, he said that term possibly wasn't strong enough. But the language is pretty clear. He wants to reconnect with Europe. He says, never again must we be isolated in our own continent. And he runs through a list of things where we need to work more closely with our European partners. He's going to remove friction to trade, sort the Northern Irish problem. In foreign policy, he makes it absolutely clear that we would not have an independent foreign policy. We'd do it together as a European Union. And that goes for security, climate change action and much else besides. What he's really talking about is full-blown brino. Brexit in name only, where we align ourselves as closely as possible to pretty much everything the European Union does. And then maybe, come a second Labour term, if that was to happen, the argument is, well, we're obeying all of the rules, we may as well have a say. So I'm not for one moment suggesting that a Keir Starmer landslide means we rejoin the European Union. We won't. That isn't going to happen. But, effectively, it will not be Brexit at all. Although you could argue that the Conservatives have so failed to deliver on the aspirations of so many millions who wanted Brexit uh, that perhaps, actually, the fault lies rather more at their door than it does with David Lammy.